Hey everyone, Zion here. Welcome to my channel. I'm glad that you're here and if it's your first time and you like the topics, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and share. Don't forget to subscribe as well. I love to read your comments. So we're going to jump right into the topic and today it's another habit that we have and I just wonder where do we get it from and why do we do it? blowing candles if you haven't seen my video about birthdays and cakes uh check it out uh this video is kind of like a continuation so why do we blow candles on our birthday blowing out candles is a common practice actually everybody does it now and um but if you do a little bit of search you don't have to go deep you'll see that it's also a practice in witchcraft people who do witchcraft they, they use a lot of candles it's very, it's a very common practice and the specific meaning of blowing out candles in witchcraft can depend on what they're doing and it depends on the context and the intention of the whoever is practicing the witchcraft and like i said whatever i'm telling you right now it's not a really hidden information but if you do a little bit of search you will find the same information that i have here and somebody will confirm it to you. So this is not information that was made up. The uses of candles in witchcraft. So there's one use which is spell work and basically what it is is that candles are often used as a tool in spell casting. So blowing out a candle at the end of a spell can actually symbolize the completion of the ritual and the release of the energy or intention into the universe so it can also be seen as a way to send the energy and intentions out in the world allowing them to manifest does that ring a bell does that sound familiar another way of using candles blowing candles invocation or communication so some witches will use candles as a means of communication with spirits deities or ancestors so blowing out a candle can serve as a signal or invitation for these entities to come forth or provide a response to the witch's request or invocation that's the second use does that ring a bell Divination. In certain divination practices, blowing out candles may be incorporated as a form of reading the future or gaining insight. Uh, the behavior of the candle flame before and after blowing it out can be interpreted symbolically to reveal information or message. Okay. Another use is symbolic release. Blowing out the candle can also represent the release of negative energy obstacles or unwanted influences it can serve as a symbolic act or purification cleansing and letting go of anything that no longer serves the practitioner's highest good candles as we know today were not necessarily used in the bible like we use them today in the bible they talk more about lights and lamps exodus 25:37 it says then make it seven lamps and set them up on it so that they light the space in front of it psalm 119 verse 105 it says your word is a lamp unto my feet a light on my path matthew 5 14 to 16 you are the light of the world a town built on a hill cannot be hidden neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Uh, if you know a verse in the Bible where it talks about lighting a candle and turning it off as a ritual as a habit as a tradition for a, a happy event such as a birthday share in the comments let me know i know this is gonna be a hard pill for some people but this is the actual truth 
There's nowhere in the Bible where these things are encouraged. But on the other hand, we can clearly see that these are practices from witchcraft or from rituals that were slowly over time assimilated by even us Christians and everybody worldwide. Uh, so it brings me to think that these might not be things that are encouraged by the Word of God or by God. So please leave a comment, share your views about this topic, and I'll see you next time. I hope this blessed somebody. Take care.